What's going on everybody? Jesse with Real Estate Connect and EXP Realty back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be going over, does it make sense for a brand new real estate agent to join EXP Realty or not? Stay tuned. <music> Okay, coming from somebody that is a brand new agent that joined eXp Realty, I wanted to give my raw experience after being with the company for a year. I am not a typical agent, I'll tell you that right off the bat. I run a marketing company that works with realtors and loan officers and we provide them with live transfers with qualified prospects. That's my main business. And one of the reasons why I wanted to go over this topic is because my experience in the beginning of joining eXp Realty, a lot of people that make videos like this were not brand new agents that joined eXp Realty, but they say like the training is amazing, which it is, and a bunch of other things. But I really wanted to give a raw um, explanation of my experience to make people understand what they really need to do in order to have a good experience with the exp realty okay so i've only sold one house I, that wasn't really my focus with coming over to exp i was very um focused on the other aspects of re exp realty which is revenue share and um, other things that you can tap into um but i did want to sell a few houses and when i was going through that process obviously in year 2020 we were dealing with covid I was assigned a local mentor and she was helping me out um, with a lot of things in the beginning. Um, but as things progressed during my first transaction, um, I felt that the support I was getting on the mentor side, which wasn't totally her fault, was a little bit not clicking with me. Uh, not to say that she doesn't do a lot of deals. Sorry, there's a car passing really quick. And um, so you can have a mentor that has done a plenty of tra transactions, right? And um, maybe they know how to teach certain people and it clicks a certain way with them, right? Um, for me, I needed a little bit more handholding, a little bit more thorough guidance in ter terms of like showing me exactly where to go, um, when to do things, where to find things. And I felt like I was a little lost at one point in, in the transaction of, in, in the process of um, handling the documents, submitting documents through Skyslope and things like that. Um, so it was giving me a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth of how um, the process works with new agents. And I was thinking that I, I was even considering moving to a different brokerage at that point. Um, and then I actually ended up talking to one of my friends who is at eXp here locally on Long Island, New York. Um, he said if I ever needed any help, just reach out to him. I did and I found it to be a breath of fresh air of how much he helped me. And I told him, man, like you need to be a mentor and I would love to have you as my mentor. And that's exactly what we did. Um, I'm actually in the process of switching to him. I don't think that the mentor that I had initially was bad in any way. I just felt like there was a lot of circumstances that um, ended up happening. I wasn't working in production for about six months and I'm really not working a whole lot in production right now. And um, that may have affected the way our relationship um, basically played out and how much support she gave me, right? So um, my friend ended up really guiding me in the way that I wanted. And it, what it made me realize is that if anybody's having trouble with a local mentor or it's just they're not clicking in the way that they learn with them, it doesn't mean that that mentor isn't successful or isn't a good mentor for somebody else. You just want to work with somebody that's going to click with you and that goes for any brokerage it doesn't just apply to exp realty so if you're thinking about joining exp realty one thing you just really want to keep in mind is you're going to be signed a local mentor and you do not need to stick with them if they're not giving you the support that you truly need if you know that something doesn't feel right and they're not really helping you to the extent that you need help then I would highly suggest going into uh, the EXP world, going into the onboarding um, area. You just click on go to in the top left and go to onboarding services. And you just let them know that you're looking for a new mentor that could um, be a, a better fit for you. So that's my suggestion when it comes to mentors at EXP Realty. It made a huge difference for me in the way that I understood how to close transactions and submit documents and everything I really needed to know to get the job done. So that's my review as a brand new agent. 
things are going a lot smoother now. I have people in my revenue share line and that part of eXp Realty is amazing and that's what really attracted me to the company. And for anybody that comes under my organization, our organization with the Game Changers, if you know who AJ Maida is, Brian Casella, everybody that is part of that organization, Brent Gove, Gene Frederick, all these top players at eXp, um, you can, uh, there should be some links below that you can chat with me or if you wanna know a little bit more about eXp. I love eXp now, but there was one point in my uh, short time at eXp that I was thinking about switching. So I wanted to give this piece of advice to any new agent that is working with a local mentor that may not be a good fit, that you can switch them out, just go to onboarding, um, talk to them about it and get your, your situation fixed so you can start closing more transactions and take advantage of all the opportunities at eXp because it is a great company and you don't want those things to stop you from being able to benefit from the other features about eXp Realty. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, uh, give me a like down below, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be creating future content about eXp, the splits, everything else that has to do with eXp revenue share and um, just everything that's really great about the company. I love it now. Um, like I said, I was having some frustrations in the beginning and I just wanted to address those. So um, people can have a realistic approach on how to handle those situations when they join eXp. See you on the next one.